Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say uh, good evening everyone, both the East West Coast. Hope you guys enjoyed your day today here on uh, uh, Wednesday. Hope you guys are also enjoying the week so far. And for this video tonight, of what I want to talk to you guys about is generally quit days of our lives. So let's go right into it. The link will be in the description down below. This is from daytoconfidential.com, posted by Jamie Giddens. The website for the 28th of May of 2016 was posted um, over the... Um, yeah, over the weekend on Saturday, and it says, Salem, USA is about to lose another popular young starlet. I'm hearing from multiple sources, Jen Lilly has chosen to vacate the role of Trace Donovan on NBC's Days of Our Lives. I thought it was strange when Lilly's name was first was the first I uh, heard mentioned, once I started stooping into who replaced Christian Storms at General Hospital. I couldn't imagine Lilly leaving a full-time gig at Days of Our Lives for another temp assignment at General Hospital. As it turns out, Lily gave her notice to Days of Lives a while back. In the end, her former Days of Lives castmate, Molly Burnett, was cast as Maxie. It's just as well. I heard the Lily, I hear Lily wants a break from the daily grind, daily suds grind. Look for uh, Lily's two parents, Patsy Pease and Charles Shaughnessy, to reprise their iconic roles as Kimberly Brady and Shane Donovan as part of Trace's X storyline later this year. Um, so yeah, I'm sure everyone has heard about this news before. I know that, um, uh, for some it may be shocking, but for plenty of others, it's not. Uh, and they're pretty happy that Teresa is going to leave, uh, Days of Our Lives, you know, leaving Salem, whether she's dead or alive. I mean, um, you know, for me, when Teresa first came on the show, I, I started to dislike her a lot because of her, for, because of her antics and what she did. Especially when she, Teresa hit John Black with a fire poker. That was out of line. That was all called for. That was when her and Brady were hooking up and, and you know, trying to get hitched to go to Las Vegas and get married. Um, and Brady was drunk during that time. And um, I just did not like that storyline at all. I didn't like the way how Teresa was written. And to me, I felt that other people, uh, I felt that other people wanted to see a change in Teresa. And we actually got that change Last fall, when you know she and Brady, you know, were able to come, uh, become pastor services and you know be able to, um, you know, hook up, fall in love, and you know at the same time, you know, be responsible parents to their son Tate. Though that didn't really go well with other people because they felt that Trace was being too much of a goody goody two shoes at the same time too. And for me, I felt the same way as well. But I kind of felt that Trace does need to really grow up and to be more acceptable as a parent, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to Tate and be there for her son. And um, I feel that for me, what they should have done is at least, you know, have a blend of the old Teresa and the new Teresa. You could bring back the old Teresa in different times. And when they did that storyline of Basic Black, the return of Basic Black, when Nicole and Kay were, you know, like going head to head and seeing who could um, take on the company, Teresa wanted to be a part of the company and wanted to become a head designer and, you know, uh, show both Nicola K what she, uh, what she has uh, planned for uh, Basic Black, if she ever does run it. Um, and, you know, to me, I felt that um, Teresa at that point should at least bring, bring out the old, uh, the old uh, Teresa to make her point across if she didn't get anywhere with it. Uh, but, you know, as far as what could happen now with Teresa, anything's possible. Uh, but I did see, actually, a spoiler on Days of Lives, uh, Cafe, Days Cafe. It's a website that has, um, it has everything about Days of Lives, including these uh, spoilers and everything else. And from what I, uh, saw, there was one spoiler that said, uh, I think that Teresa's days are numbered. So, we don't, we all know something's going to happen to Teresa. Is she going to die by illness? Is she going to die with someone, I don't know, maybe Alexander gets out of prison and gets revenge with Teresa for framing him for you know what, for those of you that did watch, that uh, watched Days of Our Lives. Um, but to me, I'm wondering, you know, just what it could be that happens to Teresa that causes her to, you know, leave Days of Our Lives. But to me, I feel that Jay Lily did the best job that she could, no matter how much people liked it or disliked it. Uh, to me, I was not a big fan of of the 3D, as they, as they call the uh, pop-up period between Teresa and Brady, uh, Brady Black. I did not like that period at all. I thought that it was forced, that there really was no direction with it. Uh, but, you know, Jillian did the best job she could. So, hopefully, 
uh, Jill Lily does succeed in uh, in her future endeavors. Hopefully, we see her back uh, at some point, whether it's another soap opera or somewhere else. But uh, tell me, Castle guys, you think about this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you moon? Are you about Jill Lily quitting these or lives? Ask Teresa uh, Donovan. I'm so tell me in the scroll down below. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget always subscribe to the channel, guys. And until next time, we're going to say peace. Take care. I will see you guys there for some coming up uh, tomorrow morning or in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So until next time, care, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next video coming up, which will be the big announcement of who uh, will be playing Abigail Devereaux, which was announced today here on uh, Wednesday. So please stay tuned, guys. Please uh, spread the word about my channel. And... Uh, I will see you guys later for the next video coming up. Hey guys, peace. Bye.